Today I, M27. Learn the gender of my unborn child and I am dreading it. My wife is currently pregnant with our second child and at first we were both ecstatic. We never really discussed gender preferences but mainly brainstormed potential names. Personally I have no preference. My first child is a four years old girl so having a boy would even things out but I'd be happy either way. Other than my wife being nervous about childbirth, we were happy. Then two weeks ago, she dropped a bombshell and said if it's a boy then she absolutely refuses to keep him. I was shocked. I had no idea what to say. I've known for a while that she has had trust issues with men but I had no idea it would extend to a baby. I don't want to give up my baby or my wife but I also don't want him to grow up being hated for what he is. Every day for two weeks this has occupied my mind and for two weeks I have dreaded today's appointment. I don't know what I'm going to do. For a little background, my wife was sexually abused by male family members at a young age and for many years. Naturally this left scars. Specifically a distrust in men, a fear of being hurt emotionally, severe depression and anxiety, as well as suicidal tendencies. We have been married for nearly six years and I have tried my hardest to make her happy. Being an idiot though I have made mistakes. Nothing remotely serious as cheating but things that broke her trust in me. Early in our marriage she was labeled as a danger to both herself and our daughter and was forcefully placed in mental institutions. She has made significant improvements since that time. I worry having a son and then postpartum may cause her to relapse. Then two weeks ago, she dropped a bombshell and said if it's a boy then she absolutely refuses to keep him. I think she needs to talk to a mental health professional soon. I hope she can go through some quick treatments before history repeats itself and she once again becomes a danger. She needs to talk to a professional. Whatever happens you need to put your children first if your wife becomes a danger to them or wants to give a potential son up. Can you put off the scan or not have the gender revealed until after she has spoken to someone? You should act quickly before she deteriorates further. If you're spiraling right now, she will be too. With her history, it should be easier to get her access to the right people and the right treatment quickly. And please get help for yourself too. Some things are too big to process on your own. And this is pretty huge. She really, like really needs emergency and long-term professional help. Early in our marriage she was labeled as a danger to both herself and our daughter and was forcefully placed in mental institutions. If your wife is predisposed to postpartum depression, psychosis then you need to get her into treatment right now. It sounds like she's struggling with perinatal depression. Your wife needs therapy to handle this fear. She might otherwise become a danger to yourself and if your child turns out to be a boy, to your son as well. Handle this as soon as possible. Why get pregnant if you can't handle the gender coin toss? Adopt. O-F-A-A-A-R-K that's some serious mental health shit right there. Find help quick. That's a tragedy waiting to happen. Very best of luck. Is she in long-term counseling? What made you two decide to have a child together? What made you stay if she was a danger to your child? Regardless, once she has this baby it's time to gain sole custody and divorce. But I would be worried about her currently being a danger to that baby. Um just saw my boyfriend talking about other hot girls what do I do crying face. Yeah I know I shouldn't look at his phone, but I'm already here and I already saw it. Okay I, 22, saw my boyfriend, 22, text his friend how he was talking to these girls at the bar. A night I wasn't out with him and he said he was with all guys, and describing how hot they were and how tempting they were and he was so sad to tell them he can't talk to them. I'm so upset right now and I know I overstepped and shouldn't have been looking but I feel betrayed now. Is there any appropriate way for me to address this at all? Ah, uh, this would have activated all my insecurities on the spot. I would effectively deal with it by leaving him. A man who says he's sad that he couldn't talk to hot girls is a man who does not want to be in a relationship. It's completely normal to find other people attractive whilst in a relationship. It's whether he acts in those feels or not is another story. I'm sure you've had convo with your friends about a hot guy, stranger or celebrity. Just because someone doesn't physically cheat, doesn't mean that they are faithful. Before all the men come in to defend this guy further imagine your op. You have a girlfriend and become aware she spent her girl's night flirting with attractive men and wishing she could have acted on that attraction, and she is sad that she is stuck being with you. How do you feel? Exactly. I see both sides. On one hand, he was loyal. He didn't cheat. On the other hand, he felt that ping of, damn, if only I was single, that some men feel when looking at hot women. 
Or older men would say, if only I was 20 years younger. And he was texting a guy. Guys tend to talk differently talking to other guys. More bravado. Talking about hot girls. Especially young men and he's only 22. I think a lot of 22-year-old guys would say something like that to a guy friend. Not that it's an acceptable thing to say. But I still think there's hope for him to learn and grow into a better man. He was sad he couldn't talk to them. Regardless of what he didn't do. I don't think anyone in a happy relationship is going to be sad that they can't maybe have a chance at fucking some random chick. Have you ever talked to your girlfriends about a good looking guy? Common. He's just talking and you're looking at evidence that he didn't cheat. Is it disrespectful? Yes, but it's also human, male human mostly, but human nonetheless. Just nope out now and get yourself a man who isn't shopping around. Girlfriend, 31F, called me, 30M. Disgusting and accused me of cheating for using a fleshlight. My girlfriend and I have been together for one year. Last night I tried initiating sex with her, but she told me no. No big deal. I went to our room to masturbate. She walked in on me and saw me with my flashlight. She started screaming at me, telling me that I was disgusting for even owning something like that and that it was the same thing as cheating. I tried telling her that she has toys of her own but she told me those are not the same. She left crying and went home. I tried texting her, but she's not responding. What do I do? She's wrong and a hypocrite. If she is allowed to have, and use, toys, so are you. She sucks. A fleshlight is a masturbatory aid, just like a dildo or vibrator is. It is not the same as cheating and she had to change her perception of that, especially if she uses toys herself. How long have you been dating? I'm not sure you can convince her it's not cheating if she doesn't see the parallels already between yours and her sex toys. Overreaction. She's insecure. Probably worried the fleshlight feels better. Yeah, she's completely offside. Decide if it's worth saving despite her being a hypocrite and a drama queen. Wait for her to initiate contact, you did nothing wrong. Wait for her to come around and apologize. Do you find that your girlfriend often uses sex as a means to reward you for doing something or to encourage you to do something for her? Are you rejected often? I ask because there's a couple of different reasons why she might be upset and how you handle it may depend on which one it is. I tried telling her that she has toys of her own but she told me those are not the same. Ah, uh, yes they are? Draw a face on her flashlight. Ignore her. Let her calm down. If you keep texting you're just goig to make her matter. Let her make the first move. She's just a bit prudish and hypocritical. 